Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my first cook and clean with me video. So by the way, don't mind my red face. I've been cleaning like all day and uh, my hair is here. I'm not bald, but I've been cleaning all day and so I'm like getting hot. But we are having some friends over tonight for the UFC fight. So um, I've been cleaning all day and I thought I would film me making some chicken buffalo dip and some cake batter dip. Now I'm a little bit worried about the cake batter dip because one of the ingredients is supposed to be vanilla yogurt, but my Walmart pickup, they substituted it with um, Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna wait till the end to put that in and see if it's okay without it. And then if it's not, then I'll put it in. I'm afraid it's gonna make it too thick. But anyways, I have all of the stuff behind me set out ready to go. So I thought I would kind of just film myself putting it all together. It's two really simple recipes and I got them on Pinterest. So I will just leave those down below. But yeah, then I thought I would film myself cleaning up the kitchen afterwards because the kitchen is the only room that I haven't really cleaned yet. It's not that dirty, but I know once I'm done um, cooking this stuff that I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to put away and dishes to do, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for the uh, cake dip, it is like the Funfetti cake mix. They didn't have the regular one, so I just got the Walmart brand, and I doubled both of these recipes because we're gonna have kind of a lot of people here. So two boxes of that, some sprinkles, vanilla, a big tub of this um, Walmart brand whipped cream, and then, like I said, the Greek yogurt, but it was supposed to be regular, which is what I ordered. I don't know why they gave me Greek instead, but whatever. So moving over here is my buffalo dip recipe. So this is just my crock pot. Um, I have like the bigger one. And then I use the canned chicken because it's much easier than having to cook and shred the chicken yourself. But you totally can do that. And then I already had these on hand, so I just got one more at the store yesterday. Sorry, it's like focusing over there. Um, you need two packages of cream cheese. Like I said, I doubled these recipes, so really you could like cut this in half. And then two packets of ranch, which I've never put ranch seasoning in my... Um, buffalo dip before so we'll see how that goes and then I had some of this buffalo sauce left I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough so I already had this on hand just like some Frank's red red hot sauce so we'll try that if I run out of that and then this big bag of cheese this is how much the recipe calls for if you double it 32 ounces but this is a heck of a lot of cheese so I'm not sure if I'll use it all but we'll see right now um, I'm kind of having a hard time mixing the cream cheese in but I think I'm just gonna kind of start the crock pot and then um, mix it together as it melts but this is pretty easy you basically just dump everything in the crock pot and then turn it on I'm gonna put mine on low since it's only 3 30 and people aren't gonna be here until later and then this is my mess so far <laughs> um, over here practically you're going to just mix everything together in a bowl so we're gonna do that next
guacamole, guys. I can't even wait to show you my kitchen because it is a disaster. That icing mix, cake mix, whatever batter mix I just made was the messiest thing I've ever made in my life. I don't think I'll ever make that again. It tastes okay. I had to like add milk um, to kind of thin out the Greek yogurt and then I ended up adding some leftover icing that I had. I just like heated it up a little bit in the microwave so it thinned it out and then I poured it in there and mixed it all together. It tastes okay. You can still taste like the cake batter mix. Like, I can't explain it. It tastes okay, but I mean, this is what it looks like. I just put a bunch of sprinkles on top and I had bought um, graham crackers and animal crackers to dip it in. I'm just calling it good. If people want to eat it, they can. If not, oh well. It costs like one, two, like four dollars to make, so not that big of a deal. But my kitchen is a disaster and I got icing and cake mix everywhere so let me show you so this is my sink oh, I have that sitting over there like I said this is the little mix it looks good I mean it's gonna be okay I guess and then this is where the disaster starts I have icing or whatever it is like cake mix on the floor this is from my buffalo dip I have milk out all kinds of garbage my icing got all over everything and this is all trash so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up but the only thing I have left to do is um, wash out the sink which I will do with my Mrs. Meyers clean day apple cider scent soap which I love and then I'm going to sweep and mop the floors and for my floors actually today for the first time I used I used this earth sense spray and it is cruelty free and vegan and the only ingredients are purified water tea tree oil grapefruit seed 
uh, vegetable glycerin and sweet orange therapeutic essential oil. I got this at TJ Maxx for $3. It's a big bottle and it says that you can use it on pretty much anything and it said even for floors. So I mopped the rest of the house earlier with this and I just sprayed it and used my little um, mop. You can kind of see it in the background. It just has a pad that I wash on it. And so I'm going to sweep and mop in here and then I'll be done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first clean and cook with me video. This is only my second cleaning video ever. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it's probably not the best, but I will get better with practice. So if you liked it, make sure to let me know and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I am now posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I post three videos a week now. So yeah, sorry for my appearance. I look like I'm bald, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish this up, go pick my dog up from daycare, and come back and get ready before people come over. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.